Welcome back. All right, that's all I got. All right, so <clears throat> welcome back, everyone. My name is still <laughs> Mechatronic. This is still Beautiful Crow. We are still here, but we have a new game for you. We do. Um, it's called it Valorant 2. It runs on the Valorant 2 engine and has the same... No, I'm, 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 I'm making really bad jokes. <laughs> <though. It's> like... <laughs> No, producer, it's not an Overwatch 2 joke. It was a yes, Counter-Strike 2 joke that was even which, worse which because it also sounded like an Overwatch, Overwatch 2 joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, we, <laughs> we're we back. Cornell College is going to play Briarcliff U University <laughs> here in our second game of the afternoon block today. Oh, yeah. second game yeah. of the afternoon block. We see people here. You may recognize this roster on the right. It's because it's the same roster as the last game we just watched. But on the left, we have Hariri, Freight, Konichi, Tony, and Milk. Yes, that is pronounced Tony. Tony just, literally makes me laugh every time I see it. Know it in your head. Make that connection. <laughs> like, uh, it, it, it's just the fact that <laughs> on the initial land, when we were casting this team from Briarcliff, I saw that name and I was just like... Oh, no, we, we added a lot too many syllables there. Yeah, um, we added a few we, more. So... We've been told what the first map is. Yes. It's yeah, Haven. I mean, oh, bro, it's so funny. It's literally like Cornell that just played, just had to like pick himself up, dust himself off, and they're sitting in the corner of spawn, like waiting for the other so, team to switch over because they ain't going nowhere. So hear me out, okay? I have a thought process here. Oh, I one. think that in the last series, the Cornell Clark University series, that Haven was the pick of Cornell. Okay. And that this Haven is also the pick of Cornell. Oh. Again, these are theories because we weren't told any information. Production doesn't know. We don't know. Uh, we are we are knowledgeless here. We know we're going to Haven. And because we saw Cornell on Haven last time, we have a decent idea of what we think their comp should be. Uh, we see the Phoenix. We see the Viper. We see the Sova, I believe. Uh, we'll, we'll see a couple other of the group. The Sky, I believe Vic was playing a Killjoy in that game. They will start in defense. This is a little bit of different roster. Okay. Lamp did not play in the last game. Yeah, they swapped out the... Who did they swap Ooh, out? Okay, okay. I like it, I like it. Who who was it? I'm I'm blanking. Oh, uh, Vic. Vic. Yeah, they chopped out Vic. So they're yeah. yeah, so they're Sentinel players. So Lend will not be on initiator duty anymore. It seems it seems like that's moving over to Cable. Cable, who played the Omen last time, moved over to Lamp, and Vic, who played the Killjoy last time, moved over to Lend. So we've mm -hmm. done a little bit of a triangle there. Fett and Banthanor still in the same agents they were on before. Konichi, though, I want to point out Konichi's fade because of Freight's raise. Yes. Huge deal there to play both of them together. Uh, we The raise fade combo in uh, on A long in that little room at the top where sewers and long connect. Uh, it was popularized there to run the fade pull and the raise nade at the beginning of rounds to get a bunch of chip damage, maybe even a kill or two. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Other than that, we saw Breach last game piloted by Ain. It was very good. Let's see if Milk's Breach can uh, kind of point in the same direction. Calling Ain's Breach pretty good is, is still a little bit of a disservice, but I have faith in this Briarcliff lineup just because they had a really crazy schedule for this uh, conference, right? All their toughest matches are technically behind them. Now it should be sunshine and rainbows and starbursts and Oreos going forward here for Briarcliff. Because, um, yeah, like, it's unless Cornell just wakens the beast and they're like, Ugh, we're tired of losing. We're Ugh, tired of losing. We will be winning. <laughs> just go complete just transformation mode. Just this, this might just be another walk, but in the case for Briarcliff, is, they have the potential to, like, completely burst the door down and just go on a tear cover going out well we're starting watching the group from briarcliff <laughs> seems they are going towards b i forgot the fourth commandment we went through the commandments last game the fourth Rush commandment me. you don't go b you just Spike end up planted. there yeah yeah no so, everybody I, I, look unfortunately the, the past yeah, game they definitely seems, went b 
Yeah, it seems Briarcliff has already started as heretics in my book. Uh, they've walked right up to the B-side, planted the spike, and walked away. Cornella has lost one member of the team already. Yep. A little scary. Yeah, I mean, they don't—they have no vision in. Oh, wow, okay. Milk through the smoke will get one. Haunt through. They, they don't way. need to see anyone. They don't! They're using the force here! They, I, I, they actually really did not need to see anyone. That was perfection. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was awesome by Briar Cook. <laughs> that was so weird. I'm so in for it, man. I guess that shows what type of game we're in for. <laughs> oh, the best kind of game. I think the answer is the best kind of game. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would play again. Would watch nice. again. Would... You catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yes, sir. I, we are on the same page. I do understand the things in which you are saying. Thank you. No, thank you. <clears throat> All right. Round number two here. Yep. After we they're saw Briarcliff a... literally just use the force to get all yeah, but one a... kill. They're in a little what bit of a tech pause right now, by the way. Ah, that's what the, it is. Yes, the timer, that's the timer is not going down. Oh, yeah, it's the timer. I thought they mastered chaos control for a second. Hmm. I would be impressive. That would, that would be particularly be, be impressive crazy. if they did. That would be crazy. <clears throat> that w Yo, okay, Valorant agent ID idea. Okay. okay. You know, have you ever played League of Legends? Um, A, a few times, yeah. Okay. So they have a character in League of Legends called Zillion, right? Yeah, His whole yeah. deal old is dude. speeding up and slowing down time. Right, right. Right? He, so he, his he passives. Well, yeah, he, he bombs people with time bombs, and he can speed pe up, speed people up and slow people down. Okay. But his passive is this whole thing about passively collecting XP and then speeding someone's growth up by giving them a level of XP. Okay, okay. I'm with you. Valorant. You have an agent whose ultimate is pausing the round clock Yo. for 10 seconds. Yo, that actually... Actually, I'm with that. That could make for some ridiculous shenanigans. Like, the, the anything... Imagine... It, any, any area it hits just completely time stops, and, like, if the if the spike's about to go or whatever, they just... No! <laughs> just say, yeah, no, no. Actually, that's a better idea. You can put an area into stasis. It's Ooh. like Bard Ultimate in, in the... Right, Ooh. where you chuck that, and that area is in stasis. Nothing, no one can move, no one can shoot. Just nothing happens, but anything can happen outside of that area. Interesting. Someone nice. diffusing, not anymore. <laughs> Someone planting, well, they'll still plant after. I'll write to the dev team immediately. Yeah, it looks like we're 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 gonna jump back to us while we're uh. Oh yes. He here, so I'm trying to think of what other abilities a time champion could be. Right, because uh, you use like something to have to do with your gun. I would assume, right? Like, if it's like could, could out of you, ammo, you could rewind. No, you could do a back. stim. You could do a could, stim. Yeah, I mean, a, a stim's too played out though. Like, give me the wacky well, zany stuff. Well, yeah, but I, I agree. But you have to have some normal stuff, especially with an alt that is like true, that. true, 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 true. All right, we have no Obviously cross. Slow. We, have, we have no other crossover in this game. From yeah, League of Legends all. to Valorant, but not including not, the fact that there is no neon on this one, yeah. the uh, <laughs> Zeri clone. But it doesn't matter here, as it looks like Hariri's going to get the first kill onto Cable. And oh, wow. Nietzsche grabs two on the Banthanor and Fett, and they're already on the side planting. Oh, they're literally planting. They're like, hey, hold them off. I'm going to plant this real quick. <laughs> He's like, all right, I got you, bro. <laughs> they didn't even need to plant. They literally just get it for the extra credits now. Briarcliff. They just they that, want the cash. Yeah, after that pause, gonna go for up to two. Here's the real important round, as you see our our Zeri Zeri Neon look alike. Get those Pikachus there. off my screen. <laughs> they both go fast. They do. Um And one was significantly more toxic in their game in the meta than the other. I'll let you figure out which one it was. It was Zeri. It still <laughs> is Zeri. Let's be very clear. <laughs> We're going into a League of Legends world in which Zeri is still meta. <laughs> I'm just saying, JDG is that world. God. Ruler okay. needs, Ruler okay. needs We're watching ring. Valorant. <laughs> Watch a Valorant. Yeah. Change the channel. <laughs> All right. Looks like the entirety of Bright Clip is looking to speed push this right onto the A site. Hot Hand's going to go through the haunt crew as well. Aftershock. Oh, everyone's stuck doing nothing. Tony grabs one. Freight. Freight shells grab another. And Hariri grabs the third. Only one trade from Fett. 
Yeah. It, it was be... really good for him to grab that, though. No, that was very key for him to actually get something down. Makes this round a little bit more bring <laughs> bring backable, returnable. Doable. Doable. Graspable. I want to know. Hold up. Can we know something on the ground? There we go. Yeah. I want to know something. We just saw Lend walk on the ground. And Odin has already been bought into this match. No way. <laughs> I swear to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's that's my kind of valor right there. Santhanor in the server. Odin on the team. <laughs> Immediately. Round number two. Odin's come out. <laughs> Round number we get three, a, rather. Can we get an Odin of the Season award? I feel like, yeah. The, we'll, ooh, we'll make an award called the, the, golden, gold, the golden Odin. Odin. Yeah. I like that it one. It would be hilarious if it didn't go to Banthanort. <laughs> the golden. Well, no, it'd have to be like the golden apple from Norse mythology. There's so there's so many good things. There's so many good things. They get a Mjolnir. <laughs> Where are you? All right, Haunt comes through. We're gonna try and find anybody what? here, but it won't find Freight. anything. Freight's already in the site. They're just Freight. they <laughs> right. They just... don't have. There is no defense. Okay, Ooh. the shorty is some defense. Bathnor's got a gun. Bathnor does not have a life anymore standing. though. Lamp is the last one alive, and he's sitting in heaven. I love Lamp. Okay. I had to make the joke at least once. Um, yeah, he just... <laughs> they, they know where he is, too. It's just a matter of time. And, okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Riri is going to go and clean that one up. They need um, to make sure. Had to, yeah. Four right. up. Yeah. That's a... Whew. I think Briarcliff might be trying to speedrun this. I think Briarcliff is trying to see if they can do better than Clark University just did. Uh -huh. um, that's, I think, where we're at. It's only four rounds in, though. You know, this could change. In fact, this very well may change. Looks like they're going to try and go for a little bit of a play here. Fett looks to be throwing the curveball around. Peaks can't find anything. Riri just looking to see if anyone over aggresses through the doors here, but it doesn't seem like they will. They're pretty set back in this defense other than on A. They are doing the smart thing, which is if you're gonna play uh if you're gonna play aggressive somewhere, play aggressive in one place and not everywhere. Right Looks there. like Briarcliff have the site for free. They in fact do. Okay, Banthanor gets a kill with this Odin. So now First he's online. Match. He's feeling himself. Yeah, they're spamming through this box. They know Milk could be here. Milk nice. does take down Fett. Fault line going to go he's through. Just back, though. Yeah, that was the run it back. It wasn't actually the full player. Tony with two. Oh. Lamp and Fett with trade backs. Fett, though, with the second kill in the round after the run it back. And that's going to confirm the round for Cornell Esports. Ah, uh, yes. The 04 power spike. Finally online for Cornell. They will grab themselves first round of this game number one. And honestly, it all started because Banthanor got the kill with the Odin. I mean, it was just a good retake, right? They couldn't it was. do yeah, a yeah. huge amount about it. It was just a good retake. <laughs> yeah. I really do think, though, Fett getting, being able to get a, as, as much info as he could, right to run it back, um, and then just playing off of what it was a really good hot hands lob. I don't know if you like paid attention to it or not, or where it hit on the back side of C. Forcing them forcing milk and uh I cannot remember who else, but we're staying in the corner. It was not milk and the rays. Yeah, we're not able to actually, you know, reconnect with the rest of the team and it was effectively a four V three in that situation. Right, so Milk, Freight, and Konichi now trying to push up. This is the same play they did in the pistol round that worked so well. Freight already has taken down Len 4. Couple shots through from Banthnor's Odin. Doesn't hit anything. Damage per second. The same as the non-existent Odin right now. Uh, the non-existent Ares. Ah. Okay, time ticking away. Gonna go and throw the orb for some cover. Oh, oh but no. The, There's the a whistle couple. has been blown. Yeah, I don't. So the the showstopper hasn't gone through yet. Oh, the showstopper has oh, gone oh, through. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. 
<laughs> yep, just took it. Just took a second. We're like, yeah. wait, we we heard the ultimate, but it hasn't so, done anything. So maybe the question oh, we should have been asking wasn't oh, whose no. breach is better, milk or ain, oh, but no. whose raise is better, freight or ain. Oh my goodness. He baited us too. We got baited with the team, Mech. So, yeah, like, I mean, hey, we so, heard the old. We heard the old sound. So Ray, Ray, like, let's be clear. Ray's highlights today. One of them was a nice 4K that ended uh -huh. with a cool flick. Both right. had double showstopper kills. The second one was a nice kill and a double showstopper. You generally say the first one was less. Uh, uh, second one was less impressive, but the second one faked out us. <laughs> like genuinely thought they just fired it already somewhere else, but no, held it was really good and patient, and it just paid off for. Oh Fire no! Cliff. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that was, oh, that was brutal. One enemy remaining. Woo! Man, the door hit <laughs> gun down in the doorway. That's a watch his team fall, and yeah, this Briarcliff. Getting back their round, they didn't feel like they they particularly lost. Cause... I mean, I don't think they did. Yeah. Uh, they, they they did everything they needed to right there. And it was just a better crosshair placement and left clicking. Where, where's the the copy pasta that we need now? Of... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cornell here. They're at a little bit of a standstill. They got a Bucky and a couple of regular weapons. Oh, Freight kind of messed up the blast packing, but you know what? It, it happens to the best of us. It's okay. Yeah. It happens to everyone. Ooh, we'll go. We'll send yeah. the hot hands. That's hot hands. Okay. Yeah, Cable tries to get out of the uh, paint shells and walks right into Hariri's gun. There's the lockdown coming through from Hariri. And they're just... I think they're gonna back off and go elsewhere. Yeah. I yeah, because they have no way to take it out. Uh, the agents that they have just cannot get to I it here. I love this play. By the time, oh, yeah. okay, lamp. Um, wait, is oh, he gonna? Okay. No, no way. No, he, he's gonna be fine. But they by swung the, time... the yeah, no, they swung the seat. That's the thing. <laughs> like yeah, Hariri, okay. Hariri's holding it down for the squad while everyone else I... wants to see. I love that play. I actually love that play. The bait oh, lockdown. It, if you were watching the map there, it brought every single Cornell every single player Cornell over player. to A. Oh, wow. Briarcliff with the big brain plays. And, uh, <laughs> oh, we can get a door. damage. We can get a damage check here. A, a real damaging gun right now with the Ares. Well, if he doesn't hit a bullet, the damage, unfortunately, I think is exactly the same. Your face. Uh, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, it doesn't make a sound. <laughs> Freight with three through that, by the way. Holy. Oh, wow. Oh, right. the defenders won that. Wait, what? They got the defuse? They got it through. Wait a minute. Holy cow. Okay, Cornell on the board. That's going to be a fun Banthenor's raging oh, Odin addiction. There. I feel it deserves a, a a longer look at that round, but I also have absolutely no clue what happened Stay because focused. no, legitimately, I really, legitimately, like I was confused. Frey got three kills there through the smoke. Through you the smoke, have thought yep. one of them would be <laughs> what? What's the, the diffuser? diffuser? Apparently yeah. not. All right, <laughs> Briarcliff really invested a lot into that round too to just to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Banthanor buying an Odin every round. <laughs> Welcome to the Saturday afternoon broadcast of the Midwest Esports Conference. The unhinged version, which just happens when we have some Saturday afternoon broadcasts, we have unhinged broadcasts. Absolutely. Oh man, I have way too much caffeine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Serious. Great. Game face. Angels right. into the back. On into the back of the site as well. Going to show some people on it. Bet is able to go through and kill Milk quickly, but Frey is able to trade it through at least onto the run it back. Cable is sitting in the corner. He's still oh, wow. sitting in the corner. He's still oh, sitting in the corner. He's still in the and corner. Tony, Tony walks right into the crosshair. Freight is able to get a core kill back onto Lend, but Lamp will kill Freight and Cable quickly. Konichi is one of the last two alive left for Briarcliff as he gets paranoid. Banthanoid. 
Banthanoid. Those are the fans of Banthanoid. The fans of Banthanoid are Banthanoids. And I am a raging Banthanoid right now because he is doing so much work. Let's go! Hariri, 20 HP. The Take Odin it out. Clutches it out. He's, it's a worth buy. And he gets to defuse the star of the show, the star of the server for Cornell Esports, putting them at another round up. Oh yeah, my I, goodness. We need. I have a production request. I have a production request <laughs> for uh, for playoffs and finals. Can we get a content piece uh, with Banthanor going up to the shop and saying, "I'd like to buy a, a weapon," and them showing him Ghost, a Phantom, a Vandal, an Ares, and then finally an Odin, and he agrees to the Odin. <laughs> this is this is a content piece. You can have that one for free. Odin stocks up. <laughs> Odin stocks continuously rising. We do have another hard push from Briarcliff here. Looks like, actually, no, yeah, they're just going to wait it out. Try to get a pick. So whenever Briarcliff wants to wait in the wings and get a pick off onto a player, I think that just, you know, automatically spells them around the round if they don't just brute force their way on to a site, which they've been trying the past few rounds and somehow not coming out on top. So this does feel like a little bit of a pumping the brakes moment here as once again, they choose B site as their attack and yeah lamp's actually gonna get a flat frag through the wall taking out hariri but they're still on the side is oh what fet burns down freight melts that train before they get the show stopped but tony, tony on the flank he's hitting them so this defending Killjoy ultimate isn't going to prevent them from planting over on the A site, which is where Milk is. It's a little bit open. It's a little bit in an odd position. The question is, will the Cornell folks be able to retake this? Banthanor's Odin could be of use here. It needs to clear out a lot of areas quickly. Poison Orb goes right onto the spike. Shots through Banthanor knows where one is. Does take one out. Does he know? Does he have the vibe? He has the vibe, but Milk is able to take Banthanor down quickly with the Vandal. 7 to 3, Briarcliff. 7 to 3, indeed. Man, okay. We were saying if Briarcliff were going to outdo Clark in this map, and right now Briarcliff are having a little bit tougher of a time. We know where they are in the standings, and that's, like I said before, usually due to strength of schedule, playing a bunch of the harder teams ahead of them, and what are deemed to be the quote-unquote easier teams now, but they're they're having a little bit of a task with Cornell. Yeah, they're definitely not a, uh, you know, Briarcliff seems to be closer to Cornell's level than Clark University was last match. It's making for a better match, but it still feels like it's Briarcliff's match to lose at any given moment. Right, right, exactly, and we didn't really get that feeling in the last time we saw. Um, no, we we did not. We definitely didn't like, get that feeling when we saw. We against really Clark. did not. <laughs> it's it's that element of surprise coming out to catch them off, and honestly, I think their morale might have been a little bit shook there off of that uh, one round, like a few rounds ago, where they you know spit three ultimates, and got a three k, and still lost in the diffuser. Like, yeah, that was a little rough to watch. Like, just. It's unfortunate for everyone involved. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, man. And, and the other team's like, wait a minute. Ooh, wait, did, wait, wait, we just, wait, 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 we won that? Hold on. We, we, we won this? Interesting. We're alive. Okay. See how much that sheer crazy rotten luck helps them through his cable. Once again in the corner, it's one. Goes for two. Jumping Jehoshaphat tries to go in with the with the knife. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Nicely done by Lamp. Gonna get one, one, and then done. Hariri just take him out with the Vandal. Bucky Banthanor time. <laughs> there's there's a very he's a very limited sect of uh, weaponry. He is <laughs> he's he's what he's, he's clarified in using. One person left, and Konichi will be able to take down Banthnor and his Bucky. <laughs> last round in the half. Okay, here it is. Last round before the half. This is the last Full buys round. On all the... Okay, wait a minute. You mean to tell me Banthnor's top of his team's table? <laughs> Only by technicality because of two. 
I yes, I would state that. Wait, no, are all three of them six and ten? What? Yes, it's the assists, the true marker of uh of a of a, of a good <laughs> oh player. God. Oh wow, that's a screenshot, 100%. That's like, bro, like, what is even happening here? Okay, last round before the swap. You know Cornell are gonna full send it. Briarcliff gonna do their best to stop them getting anything back from this. Is Cable gets two off of a great combination. Oh my goodness, and that's a third. Cable with three in the round, gonna open up the site really, really well. Konichi's got two back, three back just for himself, and Freight <laughs> oh, will take no. down Banthanor to finish off the half, though it is a 9-3. <laughs> oh no. It was looking really good for Cornell, but Konichi said, sit down and shut up, kids. This is how you play some Valorant. Gonna go ahead and send Briarcliff happily ahead with a nine now. Now listen, Mech, it is October. So it, it is, is it is spooky month. It is spooky season. I don't know how much you believe in curses, but they're a, a they're, 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 they're a little bit stronger. But, but nine, this I don't season. generally believe in curses, but the nine three curse and the eleven four curse are real. Yeah, and it gets those the, are real things. And it gets the, it gets the point five modifier because it is spooky season. Yeah, the, it, uh, there is a modifier. There's a, there's a plus rep to the curses. <laughs> The closer we get to Halloween, the, uh, <laughs> the more it the, rises. Yeah. The more effective the curses are. In fact, on Halloween, it is more likely the curses come true than not. That's how that works. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let's see if it does ring true for Cornell here. Down by six. I mean, flashes of brilliance, but also flashes of insanity. Throughout the map, we, we, oh, we've a got wild some, card, some if you Beth will. Our memes here. I know there's another <laughs> one sitting in our chat uh, that is is beautiful that I hope we show in a moment, because um, it's 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 very good. Uh, it seems we're in a technical timeout right now. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, um, but we'll wait it out. We'll figure out exactly what's going on on, on in a minute. Um, I think they had this actually after the first pistol round, right? As well, uh, yes. before this is the meme that, uh, I was definitely not making in the middle of the round before. <laughs> um, but I felt that this was extremely important to make. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you know, I got the reaction from crow that I needed. So, uh, I won. <laughs> I swear that's the train of thought. Like we have, Oh God, that's one for the Twitter. This, this is good. This is, this is, this is good. But I like <laughs> this. <laughs> Uh, it's just that the fact that for multiple rounds and multiple games here, the man's main multiple weeks. Yeah, multiple weeks here. The multiple man's states. the man's main go tos are the Bucky, the Odin, and during the pistol. I think he only rocks what classic. I mean, to be fair, I only rock the classic two. That doesn't mean a huge amount. Looks like they're going to start the round here, though. Looks like there's some aggression here. This is that haunt paint shell combo we were talking about. Yes. So nasty. And it oh. is takes down. Fett, Fett had about seven seconds. He had a longer tech pause than he did a uh, life on this round. Run. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Ooh, wow, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, Lamp. Couple, sh couple yeah. shots from Lamp. The objectively best classic skin. It's... This is one of my favorite skin lines. In the, 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 yeah, the, the little the crisis, the radiant crisis one. Like the onomatopoeias Ooh. whenever you shoot and reload and stuff. That's so oh, cool. It's good. It's it's real good. Rock this on my phantom. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dark cover out towards heaven. Dog going through, trying to clear out some space. Fault line through, though, stopping the push. Banthanor dead. Milk dead. Couple other players hit a bit. Lamp is down to 35 HP himself. The spike. Look at, Look at where Freight is. He's in the one and done angle. He hasn't been killed yet. Tony, though, does take down Lamp. Freight is still sitting in the corner. Okay. 30 okay. seconds left. People walking through. Flash through. Oh, blinds himself, though. Blinds himself, and he doesn't see anyone else. But Hariri gets from behind, and finally, Freight comes alive from the one and done spot and able to take down the final player of the round. Briar Cliff with the pistol. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty rough. I mean, 
Run up through there, right in in the face of the milk. Though it did get spilled, it was a good trade, but it's just <sighs> Cornell not able to actually get anything going. Like they really do have to rely on you know further down in these rounds where they have you know some guns to their name and some more utility to use. Briarcliff, they're good at every stage of the round, so it's really hard for Cornell to grasp onto anything as again did, did, did they get away with the same combo again oh two different goodness. places on the map man oh man the the the, the precision Valorant just... is a, a game about precise gunplay abilities what will not kill <laughs> konichi though oh, gonna wow. use that precise gunplay to their advantage as they take down Fire one Lynn will get the trade but Spy freight with three in the round that big paint freight. shells and then two bulldog showing he truly does have that dog in him Blast pack and of course Panthenor away from the angle at every possible moment, but Freight will finish it off with the Bulldog. Okay, gets that 4K in their pocket. Yeah, Briarcliff, they're trying to tie this one up. Or trying to wrap this one up, put a nice little bow on it. One away from match point, two away from the match to be taken completely. Cornell, that's really looking for answers here. A few rounds in, Panthenor's back on his baby. Back on the Odin. Still in the top Thank frag spot. Thank you, Observer, for showing it. He oh. he has chosen to go light armor in order to afford in the order Odin. to. That's dedication. Honestly, that is one hundred. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need to point this out. I really do. Okay. Because he had three hundred dollar reduce left. Okay, and the Odin costs two hundred dollar reduce more than any <laughs> given real rifle. So if he did not buy the Odin, he bought a Vandal or a Fendi, he would have been able to afford full armor. I love that. I love that. It's great. I'm sailing through the sky, taking out Lin Four. Briarcliff is back in Cornell into the corner. Did somebody pick up the Odin? Oh my yes. god! Oh my god, he did. Milk did pick Milk up the Odin. Up the Odin. Got no frag with the Odin. That's so. That's so cheeky. I love it. The gamers are gaming. Freight's got 27. Yeah. I uh, Freight just had a quiet 27. I don't even know it's a quiet 27, because like I know we just talk about it every round, or it's kind of like, it feels expected at this point. Yeah. Like, that's what I, that's how I feel about it. It's just the fact, it's like, oh, yeah, Frey's getting 3Ks, 4Ks every every round. Guess he can do that. All right, that's cool. Just come to be expected at this point. So what's the normalized kill count from Freight to uh, aim? Because uh, they played less rounds on split, I think. Yes. So you have to assume there's a couple less kills. A a 18, I'd say yes. No, I think he had 19 when we started really talking about it. I want to say it was, yeah, eight, 19. I think it was. I couldn't remember if it was 18 or 19 exactly, but I was about right in that regard. Is, oh, all right. Table, all right, uh, Hariri. Thanks for playing, man. Uh, see you next time. Yeah. They need a spray that just says thanks for playing. <laughs> just spray it right on the wall next to you once, uh, once you're done. Look at how much space Freight has here. Michi with one, Freight with two, Freight with a third. And that finishes it off. Freight with like, I think 30 frags. 30 ends, yeah, 30 to end Which is a ridiculous amount. Oh my lord. That's ah. just so many. There are no notes. There are no notes, yeah. Briarcliff did about as uh, everything that they could do. <laughs> uh, how did you even... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's my favorite day of the week. <laughs> oh. Send us the break. We're out of here. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute with map two of Cornell Prior Cliff. <laughs> oh, my. As my dog is making really cute sounds in her sleep and her ears are twitching, we are back for some more NBC Valorant action. And we are going to sunset it's the news that would make you literally sit up in your seat if you will oh as i sat up in my seat, as I, sat. Mm. I prepped it uh yeah no we're going to sunset this is the first time that we've seen sunset this season we the two of us there may have been other sunset maps but they're not real and they can't hurt us so we get to see sunset uh i want to preface everyone I've watched a whole three games on this map, so do not expect callouts from me. Just, just to—it's okay. Just so we're on the, just so we're all on the same page. 
uh, we're, we're going to go into this with all of you at the same time. It's still a pretty new map. It's uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. No, I've, I've got to cast uh, three games on it, other conferences, other tournaments and whatnot. But it is a very fun map. Um, I don't have all the callouts either, so don't worry, baby. We're going into this together. But it's going to be really good. I do like the size of this map. It feels like it's a good map. I, I feel like it's a better version of Pearl. Like, that's the easiest way I can. Put it. Yes, it does feel like a better version of Pearl. It also has a basketball court, which I'm in for. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to be hooping. As, oh, I, OK, so I was actually going to bring this up. A few teams have been running the Yoru on this map. I'm not I don't know the specifics on why just yet. I haven't been able to ask around, but this is nothing to like absolutely out of nowhere to see the Yoru come out here. Hopefully for Canel, for Fett, that it is going to be like the strat is going to be good and it's going to lead to them getting a win. Or is uh, Brian Cliff just going to have a repeat showing of what they did in the last map? Yeah, we'll we'll see. It, it It's going to be a little awkward. I think it, everyone's a little bit green on this map right now. I know that uh, I believe this is probably Briarcliff pick. Um, assuming it is, I assume Briarcliff has practiced this. Um, but we'll see. we'll see. I this could be a kind of a curveball for Cornell, though, depending on how much they've actually looked at this map since it came out. Absolutely, and we paying a lot of attention towards mid towards cinema. Just looking around in that area, it's 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 a very scrappy map. That is yeah, for sure. I do. I was gonna say. I do to say the B site is super interesting to watch and to oh, play yeah. on because it's so close cornered. Yeah, um, it's super small, and I love this angle here from Hariri to start this off. Uh, they should know to clear this. It should be pretty obvious very early, uh... but. It's one of those things that just kind of you throw a little wrench in the plan. You yeah. may have to think a little. Oh, I do like that they baited out Cornell. Just using, getting a lot of utility used from Barcliff is. I mean, unfortunately, did they do lose a man towards mid? I believe or towards a uh, no, yeah, over here towards A, as it will be. I believe milk. Okay, milk piloting the KO this game. Mm. Sensing a the theme here. Yeah, they're just so they're just running up on A now, which is probably the uh, best call for them to do. Better check this corner. Sight's a, sight's a little bit more open than the rest. He does check behind the double box, but he won't check anywhere further in. Cypher Cage goes there, and the bomb spike goes down in the corner. Yeah, okay. It's cleared, and they will get it. Um, Milk actually still alive. Winning his 1v1 is Kanichi. Dropping Lamp. They will be pushing. It's a 3v4 advantage in Briarcliff's way. I say as Lin4 they with a frenzy. K no. no way. They don't <gasps> check cable, and that's a dink right there onto Kanichi as well. So Lin is able to take one quickly. Lin what? with a 4k here, by the way. Frenzy player. Frenzy player spotted. Getting him a 4k. Saving that round for Cornell. They're off to a good start. They want a pistol. Oh, no. They want a pistol. That's a little terrifying. They, they they did in fact win a pistol. <laughs> well, let's let's see how if we can get this to uh get going a little if that makes sense. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's see let's see yeah. I mean obviously Cornell went to the shelter today and bought a bunch of bulldogs. Oh no, they traded them for specters. I'm so my joke was gonna land perfectly and then they did a completely different rebuy. I'm so upset, Mech. I'm gonna cry. We're chilling. We are hanging out here. 1 0 up for Cornell Esports. And they've got this Euro pick, which is the one we want to see. But look at this big flying Konichi's with one freight. Paint shells, right click. That's going to do a good chunk of damage. <laughs> oh my goodness, the 4K from freight. He's got another paint shell. <gasps> it doesn't kill Len. Len did walk away, but it's a 1v1 right now. What? Was he out of bullets trading the Bulldog for a Spectre here? I think so. I think he just didn't. He really thought it would be a bad idea to do the cage. Ah, information is gathered. Yeah, the cage will prevent the, a lot of this from starting. So scary. It's aiming a little low here. Yeah, Tony has a high ground. Anakin and will allow Briar Cliff and nice thrifty salvaging that round. Got to aim high, babes. Got to aim high. Ooh.
All right, we're getting started here. We're getting this is big starts. So Ferrari Cliff winning that round, huge dub, absolutely massive. All off of Freight's raise right there, right? The double raise name was a huge thing. Yeah, it really was, and that definitely showed the change the complexion of that round and carrying carrying on into here. Cornell hurting with a little bit of buys. Banthenor only riding up with the pistol here. Oh, God. We're, we need to collate these memes into just one long social media post, and then you can just post and go, this is how today's games went, and this it's just is, yeah, seven memes any, in a row. If you need any sort of... Rem <laughs> Here's how today's games went based on these memes. <laughs> be perfect. All right. We'll see Konichi with a real weapon here. No lamp post needed. A cable grabs a kill on the other side of the map onto Hariri. He looks to try and grab something onto Konichi, but the picked up Vandal won't be able to be used. Tony with the Bulldog and now all onto Konichi. Takes a couple shots, but seems to be Trace in the body. Then throws the Cyber Cage out and the spike does go down. Banthanor! Look what he can do when using a Vandal! Insane. Been holding out on us this entire time. Oh, milk. It's milk, however. Yeah, milk really, really good there. Lend being the only player left. Milk <sighs> takes him out. Twice. Oh, man. Two rounds in a row. It was down to Lin for to clean it all up. Well, three rounds, actually, yeah. Because in the first game, he, in the first round, he did do it. These past two, not quite as lucky, unfortunately, for Cornell. And then Briarcliff being able to clutch it out. Big milk coming out on top. Mm. Ooh, let's get let's get let's get moving. Let's get grooving right here. Briarcliff's gonna have real weapons this round. Everyone should have real weapons. Banthnor's got no and we are in. This is so interesting. So interesting. It's, this feels like an even ground for both teams. I I feel just you know, like we alluded to just the newness of this map, right? Now yeah. everybody has everything figured out, so they're playing off of pure skill. The comms. I wish I could hear the comms going on. Banthenor has a really good angle right here, potentially. <laughs> Woo, yeah. has to back out. We'll burn Toxic the snake bite. Oh, they're pushing through. They're pushing it. Oh, Freight no! with two. Nice. What, was... what a flash from Milk what? for Freight to grab three. Milk followed with one of his own. And it's all left up to that one name we keep saying. Lend four. He's got none. Flawless there from Briarcliff. I, I don't. I'm not sure what happened right there. If Banthor got spooked by Fett being there or not, but he had a perfect position to lay the smack down with the Odin on the doorway, and just completely gets destroyed. Him and Fett both fall, and Freight just massacring everybody. Big time spooky season right there. Oof. The largest of spooky season. Ooh. All right, let's see. Real weapons across the board. The only player lacking a little is the Yoro over on Cornell. Yep. Uh, funnily enough, Bethanor going for a lighter gun this time around. Yes. Ah. Oh, Fett. Okay, actually going to get the drop on Tony. Now we have to see what the rest of the call is. I do love this poison ore, but unfortunately I love... Onichi being there even more silent assassin hiding is okay. Freight opting for the rocket. Yeah, Showstopper is unleashed and Cable just barely getting out of there. That's a run for the hills. Ooh, the movement. Answers back with the Showstopper of his own. No way. Oh, that He's... nice milk. Insane. It's a, uh, it's not knife. This is the ultimate from the KO. Continued suppression. Uh, he doesn't need it. <laughs> He's Clearly got one. It. Cable got one there onto freight, but the trade back from Milk is quick and swift. He's uh, down to twelve HP. Just one bullet will do it from basically anything anyone has here. You could literally maybe, breathe on him. Maybe not the stinger that uh, Fed has in his hand, but. Perhaps everything else, but Fett no longer has a stinger. He's picked up a vandal from a friend. Does take down milk and finishes Ooh. on Konichi. It's looking like a closer game. It is, it is indeed. And Fett, perfect trigger discipline. 
Imagine to take down both. Didn't even have to burn the flashes. Love that for him. Yeah, I just... Can we talk about... I, I know this was a round ago. Can we talk about the uh, the flash through? No. From milk like, from Frank getting like, come the 4K? On. Come on, oh. man. That was... Oh. Pure reckless abandon jumping Ooh. straight through on that. Nice n- nice little nice little jump there from Fett. Actually making yeah. it. Okay. Has this place atop his throne. Watching through mid. Bethedor with a spike. Rocky more traditional weaponry in this this game. Not doesn't feel like it's the Odin map that he love so much is down the range though oh no oh, this is the, the one we want against kanichi and he had the yeah. spike yeah so the spike will get picked up by len len runs through but does get hit for a chunk it won't be a huge amount just 13 hp and half his armor and they look like they're going to spin their way over to b i think yeah uh, that's the call yeah they're they're already looking to try and push through onto b Fet is si- Fet's making not- some noise. He is, unfortunately, but whoa, a 360 no scope gets him the, the frag there, and Cable gets one onto Konichi. It's a big fight in mid. I told you, mid fights are going to be the name of this map. Left, right, and center, and it leaves two for Cornell in the end of things. Have to hold on. Have to be able to win these gunfights. It's, unfortunately, they're up against Big Milk, and he ain't spilling a drop. No, he is. Uh, he is part of the, uh, the the tofu shop from. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness! Why am I forgetting just everything I know about anime? Oh no! Okay, we're gonna forget. We're we're gonna come back to this. We're we're gonna come back to this. this bookmark bit. it. Come back to it. We're gonna come back to this bit later. Speaking of bookmarking, coming back to it, there's actually gonna be a timeout called by. Yes, thank you, production. <laughs> the tofu shop from Initial D. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Wonderful deep cut. <sighs> oh, is the Which, sequel series out? I gotta check on that. For initial D, I don't think yeah. so. I don't Could know if it was this year or next year. I gotta check on that. The the Maybe Fujiwara Tofu Shop. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you everyone for standing with me as I forget all of my anime uh cultureness. It'd be like that. Yeah. Sometimes it do be like that. Sometimes you just kind of forget about everything. Briarcliff's <laughs> up two rounds here. They've, uh, I believe this is this is a Briarcliff timeout. Yes, the Briarcliff timeout here. They're pausing, trying to figure out what's going on. They will uh, unpause in a moment here. See if they can get a couple more rounds on the board here for their defending side on Sunset. Absolutely. Okay. They want to win if, out here. I don't think they want to go to a map three. So, I, I would, I would, yeah, I would assume the same. Um, <laughs> Hariri's rocking an op, so. Oh, I'm in. I'm so in. I, I feel like they're really trying to win this one. It'll, this... it'll probably go for a while, considering on how back and forth these rounds have been. <laughs> but the key to avoiding that game number three is 100%. For now, is. They're going to go ahead and pop. I believe they popped the Yoru ultimate. They did. So it's making a lot of space. It's being used in the same way that the run it back from a Phoenix would be used. Yeah. Just trying to trying to make some space, understand what's going on. Made it onto the A site without seeing anyone. Now it's a full five on five retake. Oh, yeah. This is going to be full five fight. Both sides are there. Banthanor back on the Odin duty. Perfect wide shot to cause some damage. Great talk. To- great talk to screen lineup, though, from Kanichi. Split it. Yeah, there's no vision at all available for Cornell. You have to play a little bit of guessing game. Look at the flank from Cable. Look at the flank from Cable. This could be really good. Yo, the judge does damage, and it's a decent amount. He's jetpacking straight in. Gets one. Has to reload. Spins around on the box. He is locked and loaded and ready to go, and Cornell completely routes Briarcliff. Yeah, it's one of those runs that you don't see come very often because Cable... Oh, they... No! All died. Oh, I thought they got so it. any saved weaponry. Oh. So I believe a vandal on Fett and a judge, judge on cable, yeah. cable. Oh, actually, let's say a vandal for Cable, because there were weapons on the ground. True, true. Uh, they are no longer there. They do not exist anymore. And Cornell is gonna have to rebuy them. So vandal for Cable, a Spectre, Bulldog for Banthanor, a judge on the other side though for Briarcliff.
looks like they're going to try and poke their way into cinema here. At least Cable's poking and probing. Double shot. As they see the jump peak there from Konichi. Looking to, I mean, it looks like they're just baiting in over on B. The first kill goes through from Banthor to Hariri. Freight does trade it back quickly. Len trading it back again. Numbers are in favor of Cornell. The Cypher all does go through. Cutting through. Okay. That's going to result. Yep. A free plant from Cornell. Briarcliff. Not the quickest of the response. This post plant is looking a little dicey. Milk might just walk into some danger here. Yeah. He's over by two as Cable will go ahead and grab that frag. And now puts Briarcliff in a 2v4 situation. Fett, how long were you there, my guy? He was there. He was there for a bit, right there, uh, throwing that that down before he can just pop himself out, using himself as a flashbang. That's so. That's so. That's level ten IQ stuff. Okay, that will result in Cornell getting a very, very nice round two in a row here. Tying it all up between them and Briarcliff. They are hungering for that game number three. They're kind of poised to do it here with how well they've been playing these past few that they can keep this form up. Yeah. They, uh, they absolutely do. They, they need to keep this up because we've seen Briarcliff do really well and we see how they can snowball a little bit if they can get themselves going, specifically with Freight, right? He was super good last game. The question is how can he and Milk, who, who's the, your main initiator, play together to get him back into this? They just got to get one or two rounds, and once they've gotten those, then they're good to go. This is the showstopper start right here. Won't get anything. Location is revealed, though. Cable takes down Tony. And it's just pistols sitting over on Briarcliff's side. They're not really hoping to do a huge amount here. Fett and company trying to keep this B site from the long arm of the law coming back in. Absolutely is. Looking at Fett. Being on the lurk once again. Decoy. Get something going, but no, there's no fight in Briarcliff here. As Cornell, for the first time today, I want to say, get a flawless. Whew. Cornell's starting to show something here. Absolutely. They're starting to show something new, and I'm, I'm digging it. I'm in. Yeah, like I said, if they can keep this form up, they 100% could take this map. I mean, it's just the unfamiliarity settling in from Briarcliff. They're kind of having to play a little bit uncomfy. This, yeah, this is this is that thing I talked about where they were in the standings. They are in the middle of the pack, and it's because they losing losing to the teams above them and beating the teams below them. Well, now are kind of at that level when it comes down to it, you know. So this is showing that map knowledge very, very much so makes a difference between the two teams in this game. Yeah, Tony grabs the first kill, though, onto Cable. They're going to kill the Cypher camera quickly. Freight needs to get going in this match. He, is, he was the catalyst for them last game. He's been the catalyst for them before. He's got to be the catalyst again today. Or someone else needs to think about starting to step up. Cornell looks considerably better, though, after adding after uh, moving Vic and Lamp around. At least on this map. This is the first map today. And this is our... Third, fourth Cornell map we've watched today that they've uh, put up more than two rounds, I think. I believe so, too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but you're talking about the members of Briarcliff that need to step up. We know Freight's good for it. When they get online, they go crazy. Milk had a really good early showing in the earlier rounds. It's a matter of and they do it again. It's okay. We've got a little bit of a nightmare going for Briarcliff is Full force of Cornell is going to run straight through that line and ah, fell for it. It's dude. Freight with two, though. I'm pretty sure Freight just got a collateral with that one Vandal bullet. And it's oh, just, and it's Freight and Hariri finishing this up. Hariri can have these showings, too, by the way. He hasn't today yet, but he can absolutely have those rounds. But I think Freight actually did get a yeah, collateral there. Two with one bullet. Which oh. is kind of a little insane. Uh, just, a, just a tad bit, yeah. Across the board here, though, the, the kill counts is basically mirrored throughout both teams. 
scores basically mirrored throughout both teams. Both teams will be on a buy here. Uh, Cable's going to have a, be a little bit weird on money, but everyone else in the game will be on a buy. So it's going to be this is this is kind of the round that should tell all. Both teams have gotten warmed up. They figured out the map a little bit in the last ten rounds. The question is, what can they do past this point? <laughs> that is quite the question here. What can they do past this point? Going to this next round, though, I believe, yeah, so we see Freight has a showstopper available. Uh, I think there's, what, two more ultimates available for Briarcliff? Yeah, so Briarcliff has an alt on Freight, Milk, uh, actually four ultimates. The four, only one yeah. that doesn't okay. have an ultimate is the Viper over on Briarcliff. Yeah, Cornell, yeah. on the other hand, have the Cypher, have the Viper ultimate, but nothing on Fade. They just used the last round. Right. Uh, no showstopper. They used it two or three rounds ago and no whatever the your name alt is i i don't even know what the your ultimate I name is i couldn't tell either. you right now I, I, bro, I couldn't tell you like he's been out what two years now eight one year two no years? one plays yoru <laughs> exactly <laughs> man had to be reworked in the toaster oven and come back and we still don't know what he does i love that oh that's a great guess and freight takes out lin four None of those shenanigans today for Cornell. Briarcliff will lose one in the end. It is Tony. Was not had the best map so far in this game number two. But putting us in a 4v4, you still have two great ultimates available for Briarcliff to the one of Cornell. Depending on these They're situations. Is nice shot from Konichi. They knew some players were there based on that boom bot, but it wasn't going to stop Konichi from wide swinging and taking the frag the lamp will get it back Frey <gasps> should have been able to get that kill but won't Whoa. see anything lamp rendezvous with a teammate even though there's no chamber in this game we're still meeting with other people <laughs> what's to be the case is they will rush towards a line goes out but milk's on the other side baby he has perfect corner position if they don't check this they do not check this who shoots first it will be milk good for one good for two Unfortunately, not for three, and that drops into 1v1. Hariri, we're talking about, has moments where they can be super clutch. Has not been the best this map around, except for has had a few little hero moments. Gonna need to see one right here is Fett. Sitting pretty on the site. Fett's got a lot of work to do. I know that I know the onus is on the Briarcliff uh, Cypher. Cypher just feels like he has so much more information and kind of knows exactly where Fett is, especially after that. He's looking. He's looking. The flash comes out. He and just stuck he doesn't, it. Yeah, he just stuck it. Doesn't Pros don't fake. I mean, uh, in that situation. No, no. Pros no. don't fake. Okay. Well, Pros, in fact, do not fake. That is, it's, it's a law. It's the fifth commandment. You just keep writing these as this goes on. No, no, they've all been written. I okay. just, you know, reveal them as that. needed. Yeah, I'm revealing them as, as, uh, as needed. Exactly. I got you. I got you. Well, unfortunate end to the last round for Briarcliff is Cornell. I will put them back into the lead. The last round before the swap. So, you know, both teams are going to go all out. I do believe Briarcliff, yeah, they still have the Cypher Ultimate to use as well. If they just they do Briar they, So, they just popped the KO Ultimate. The no command. No command, yes. Right. And they still have a from the shadows. And they still have the cipher alt. Over on the Cornell side, they've got the Viper's Pit, the Your Alt that we still don't know the name of, and also Cypher's Alt. <laughs> so yeah. we've got a lot of uh, intelligence here. Fett's gonna throw out the Yoru to start. There's a couple shots that won't hit. It was through the toxic wall anyway. Yeah, he's actually gonna put the mask on. Dimensional Ooh. drift. Gonna do some drifting. It says dimensional drift. It does so say we dimensional now know drift. the name. Yes. Fett gonna try and do a spray through. Will catch Tony. Wasn't oh, the wow. intended target, but it was a uh, it was an eligible receiver. Yeah, yeah, and they're just gonna take him down one by one by one by one. Cable, good for two. It's only just Hariri left and. Unfortunately, I just one v five potential from him is just yeah, it's not going to be there. And another flawless to end the first half for Cornell. Yeah. I don't care if there are five of 
So, what do we have now? Pushing into this. It's 5-7. It's the closest game we've seen so far today. Pistol round should start forcing this game into a way. Briarcliff could easily get out to a quick tie game before we see the first gun round if they win this pistol. Cornell could extend their lead towards 9 with this pistol. they have really good. and It's the first time all day that Cornell has actually had a... a, a a decent sized lead. This is the first time today Cornell has had a lead of more than one point. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, you're completely right here. So let's see if they can keep this up. When if they need, they just need to win another pistol. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Cornell is going to commit here to the A site. By Cornell, I mean Briarcliff will be committing to the A site. Ooh, wow, Fett sitting very low. They're trying to get on a Tony, stuck in a corner. Does oh, eventually get dealt with, but Hariri Hariri's with the wrap. Who? Yeah, Hariri with the wrap around. Very nice job from him. Will be taken care of by Cable. Briarcliff still have a man advantage here to potentially Probably do it. Lamp so doesn't have his gun out. Oh, doesn't matter. All right, That's Freight, awesome. six to seven now. They're gonna have real guns coming to this next round, so we'll see how it works. Freight's already pulled the vandal out. Okay, okay, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna pull back to that bulldog, which I think is probably the right call. You don't want to spend every credit you have trying to buy this uh buy the vandal and no abilities. I think especially on raids, right? Those those blast packs and the boombot are really important tools, especially the boombot for Intel. Freight's gonna jump around this corner trying to start something new. We can't find anyone early, and it seems like they just kind of get the site for free the way that everything's been set up. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and get does, that plant. Yeah, Milk does get the plant down already. Banthanor is trying to poke through the smoke a little bit, oh. but Freight will take him out. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to poke through immediately and drop one, drop two. Hariri gets his revenge on Cable. Last round. Briarcliff looking like they're poised to be able to tie this up. Three yeah. down to two. The Briarcliff attack side was really good earlier today. It seemed to be looking oh somewhat God. similar. Flawless Ooh. round from Briarcliff keeping it up. They're starting yeah. to give me a little bit of hope that they may actually take this in two. Uh, yeah, they're looking looking poised to do so as they're going to come into this round. Nice amount of credits in the pockets. Get a good little buy going should they choose to. But yeah, Cornell, I mean, they just dropped the ball in the last two uh, fights and trying to regain composure, you know, trying to forcibly push these corners to tie up the man score like dropping and unnecessarily taking some of these fights right like there was not really a need for them to try and to commit two people taking on one person after they just lost one you know yeah we see freight's actually upgraded already oh, okay freight. no shot okay man we said you were good but like okay, bro chill chill that bit. paint shells actually did a good chunk too and it forced a lot of people back lend will start to see players though yep can but he can't do survive, anything though. about it <gasps> freight oh, no freight bro it's finally taken down fed's the one that takes him down but it's a 4v2 already they flash through the smoke they're going for it banthador has got one but it doesn't matter tony and konichi finish it off briar clips off to their first real start of a thought of a lead this game yeah, I mean, they grabbed it, they, <laughs> they came back, tied it up, and now pushed ahead, and that's called momentum, baby, and that's exactly what Cornell did not want them to get. They want to be able to keep their hold on Briarcliff, but it's slipping away from them, and now Cornell's going back to doing panicky plays. They're going back to shades of what they were doing earlier in game number one and in the previous series against Clark. It's just, they're kind of throwing stuff at the wall and hoping it sticks, as opposed to playing more poised and controlled. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So the question is now with Cornell on basically no weapons, can Briarcliff push here for nine? We talked about nine being how Cornell, if they won the pistol, would be basically protected against Freight's grab two. He's angry. He wants to He's finish angry. this game now. Yeah, no, he is angry. He's playing completely got... different. Man has the Jason hockey mask on, which is going on a slaughter. It's another 3K in a round, and this is fair. I'm, I'm very scared for Cornell at this point in the game.
yeah, Cornell had a really good attacking side, but it just it it seems that Briarcliff in both maps, their attacking side was always better than their defense side, even though the numbers may not have shown yeah. that. It, the eye test though kind of showed the attack side always felt better, and I can tell you right now the eye test already has looked better here. Yeah, definitely. They just play differently. The well-oiled machine. Time ticking away. We're now not even going to try. They're going to go to opt to save what they have. They just <laughs> completely are like, yeah, you know what? Let's just cool down freight a little bit. The man got, Hold three on. K I got a 3K and said, we're out of here. We got to chill. Hold on. <laughs> Fenton, Banthan, or die. But that's relatively okay with what they're trying to do here. Yeah. Timeout be, starts yeah. from Cable. Okay. Yeah, they definitely need to get that timeout going. Talk to the team. Be like, yo, bros, we were doing all right. Now we're not. What's going on? And, you know, Lin Ford's like, ah, oh, tummy ache. Uh, and then like, you know, it's like, all right, cool. I'll get it. GG's. And then they're out. And that's the, that's the timeout in a nutshell. Yeah, so Briarcliff is up by two, but it hasn't felt this whole game like Briarcliff has had control up until mm -hmm. this half started. Mm -hmm. right? They weren't winning the last half. They ended at 7-6? Seven, 7-5? Six, seven, five, seven, five? Those, seven, those five. numbers that are legal? Yeah, 7-5. Seven, seven, five. Five. Yeah, and Briarcliff has ripped off four rounds straight now to start this half off. Now, the pistol rounds are roughly even round. The round after, you expect them to win. The round after that, that third round, that conversion round, you're a little lower on eco. You don't really expect to win. Freight went ham in that round, and then Freight just went really, really well with a 3K in this last round. So <clears throat> we should expect a buy here from Cornell, and this should be the closest round we should expect to start to happen, right? We should, we'll see regular buys come out from Cornell, Vandals, Phantoms across the board. And that wall early makes me feel like they're pretty sure they just want to hit B again. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't blame them. I really can't blame them. Hey, Freight says, Showstopper's out already. Look, we, we, we got dinner plans. Let's go ahead and get this going. As he actually has to burn it on the tripwire. Very, very unlucky there. But I mean, will, I mean, it'll force Cornell to just stay back and yeah, not they, try to push they, in. They can't do anything here about trying to get any space. They are pushed back in every way. Banthanor tries to pull through but can't do anything. Cable with another paint shell, by the way. Yep. No hero moments going on here. Konichi will get a little bit of a tag on the one. Still a man up. Still a man advantage. Has not gotten a plant down just yet. Looking to maybe get another pick. Probably drop off Cable. Preventing the head is exposed, but it is not enough for Cable to get the frag. Konichi finishes his mark. Now we'll proceed to plant his freight, covering his teammates. I'm trying to do his best Banthanor impression, walking in there with the Odin, but, well, depending on your thoughts of Banthanor and his own, may have succeeded in this Banthanor impression. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oof. Yeah, 10-7 up right now. Briarcliff, they're, they're doing the work. Yeah. Cornell is... does not really have money. Five in a row. But it looks like they're forcing anyway. Yeah, Cornell's definitely going to force. I mean, it's kind of a habit at this point as Lamp actually purchased the Odin. I mean, it purchased the Ares here. Yeah, Lamp purchased the Ares, and Banthanor purchased the Vandal. The world is upside down, inside out, and spinning <laughs> at the same time. Okay. Freak goes up. Ooh. This is a change. Cable's going to take him out quickly with the Showstopper. Okay, so that's, that, that's a yeah, huge that's, change that's, to start That's a huge round. get. Okay. They will trade it for Fett, though. But that is a very big change in momentum and complexion for this round. Taking out the literal monster that has been tormenting their dreams for the past five rounds. I feel like we say Freight's name at least seven times during those rounds. Frequently, we say Freight's name. Did Lamp Knife to re Lamp, Lamp, oh my god. Lamp Knife Hariri. What? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> chaos. Chaos is going on. Welcome to the Midwest Esports Chaos. Ah. Yes, that's what the C stands for. It's the little known version. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, the Viper's Pit actually going to be caught, and it's gone. The Viper's Pit is no longer there. Milk does grab a kill onto Cable, though. It's still close, but Milk running through with a Vandal doesn't feel like mm. the best use of effort. Uh, Tony's last one alive. He does have a flanker on him. Able to grab one onto Lend. Oh, no. Question is, can you aim? Banthanor is 
giving up this flank. Okay. Oh, wow. It ended up not hurting them, but that could have been... That could have been real, real bad. I mean, I guess that's like the freight difference, you know? Like, if he drops, the team kind of loses steam. I mean, they do have other great players that could clutch it up. But the pressure alone that freight has been causing definitely is an understood factor here. And it showed in that round as Cornell was able to stop a five-round win streak from Briarcliff off of that one pick in the very beginning. Yeah, it looks like for right now that they're just gonna they're they're just gonna say, hey, we stopped we, we couldn't win A. Or B kills. after a bunch of rounds. So let's go A. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's There's the, a K it's ultimate. the top level strategy. Yeah. And the K ultimate automatically dropped here. There's a push onto A site. It's there, it's there. And now milk gonna set up shop in the corner. And they know exactly where they are. Uh, this should be an easy one-round sealed deal for Briarcliff, unless Fett and Lind have anything to say about it. If they do get one, <laughs> Fett just... drifting away at 5 HP. Yeah, he just has 5 HP, though, and they have a general vibe about where he is. And the flank of Freight is already coming in. You can see it right here. One. Can't Ooh, get wow. any more. Hariri's got a third, though, in the round, and everything's oh. left onto Fett. He's got five hit points left. That's it. He gets hit yeah, with one he, breath, he, he's, and he's dead. All right, 11 to 8, Briarcliff. Yeah, Cornell's kind of broke now, I think, too. Well, okay, I was going to say maybe not because I saw Banthanor's Odin, and then I remembered that that doesn't give us a good uh, determination on whether they're broke or not. Yeah, it, 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 we generally generally can't tell. The man just yeah, happens no, to buy Odin, Odin whenever he can. All the time. If there is money, there is Odin. All right, KO Knife goes through early trying to spot out anything, but won't see anything. Looks like Freight's already pushing up in towards B. It was a menace there earlier. Just trying to see if anyone's trying to be a menace to him here. This early peak. Doesn't seem like anything. We see the sheriff is the first thing through. Wow. Hariri is spotted, but not after a couple bullets into the chest from Fett. And Lend does pick out Freight and his rays. Freight does get a kill onto Cable, though. That'll be the start of the round. And another Great looking start. to try and Great get another... Start. Poke presence has been detected by both fade a couple shots through, but nothing hits from Lend. They should know where people are. He will take down Milk. That'll be the first one. Freight does get a third kill into this round, though. Banthanor does no. get a kill into Tony. It's looking good right now for Briarcliff, but it could go either way. That's <gasps> another kill from Banthanor. The Odin starting to prove strong. Hariri, Spike goes down. Cornell needs to push this site at this point. Especially because oh Hariri's God. taking down Fett. Oh, no. It's all on Kanichi and Hariri. Banthanor. <laughs> Eyes trained. Odin trained. Bolts of lightning ready to fly. You get a flick with the Odin. That'd be insane. One tap flicks. That's all it takes. I mean, Hariri's just basically there. You fl Yeah, he gets attacked. He's <gasps> over. The, oh, the camera. It, it's... It's a waiting game here. He's okay. He's actually gonna pull the bolt out. Steps out. Yeah, I guess yeah, you can go and take him down. It was a matter right. of time. Match point for Briarcliff. Yep. Series Cornell. Point too. Yeah, Cornell should have some money here. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. I'm starting to see some money is really in Aries <laughs> and the Bulldog and the Phantom. They gotta work with what they got, man. They gotta work with what they got, Mech. They don't get a lot. I'm going to be real honest lot. here. They don't have a yeah. lot. Yeah. You were right about that. I would, in fact, call what they have a little. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and push through. Series point for Briarcliff after being able to muscle it back from Cornell, winning five rounds in a row. And then just been trading back and forth, but they've been ahead, so they've been able to trade more. We're now looking to fight back Freight, the absolute monster that he's been. This round is a perfect angle to cause some damage. Drops Banthanor immediately. Oh, the turnaround. Turns around. No way. 
Oh no. my god. Gets two before he's felled. Fat trying to make a hero play himself. Will fall. Kanichi drops it down to just one. It is all up to one. Cable against the force of four cannot make it happen. And that is Briarcliff bringing it back and taking the 2 0 series over for now. They made it. They made it exciting on Sunset for us. So yeah, it it definitely didn't. I didn't expect it to start that way, but it it finished that way. Um. Whew. Yeah. 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 Okay. That map. That last map was a little bit of a uh, difference in it. it. You look at that score being two zero at the end of the day. It was not indicative of what that last map felt like. Uh, grueling process for Briarcliff to get back into it. But we did see sunset. We got we to did. see sunset. Yeah. We got to and see we, a non, got, non even. We got some even good map. memes. We got some good memes too. So we yeah. We got some great memes. So I get. So today's a dub, even though we had to watch Haven twice. I think we can overall call it a win. Oh hey, yeah, that's absolutely it. One hundred percent sure about that. Just like that, we are at the end of a four series day. Thank you for being with me and Mech to follow through these riveting, astonishing amazing immaculate last two series I'd like, to, content. I'd like to apologize to cornell that we watched four games of theirs today and they lost every single one of them um yeah i don't have any solutions to that i just i just wanted to apologize <laughs> um it, it is what it is the it, bounce yeah. back is strong it's round five is done um was that round six it's a lot I, of rounds it's a, it's we're, a we're lot. at a we're at a lot of rounds at this point yeah, but we still have a few more to go. Well, actually, I think, yeah, one or two more to go before it's the bracket stage. So bracket stage will be fun. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But we'll have to come back around for that. For now, we have to bid y'all goodbye. Y'all get some grub, get some naps in, have a rest, wonderful rest of your evening. I know I will. I know Mech will. For myself, oh, yeah. Mechtronic, hyper backstage pulling behind the curtains. We'll see you next time for more MEC action. Peace.